so I already have all my pieces cut out I have two pieces for the collar which is this two here which is this two here for the collar I have the back piece which I cut on fold this is the back and I have two front pieces yeah. and I have um, the back facing which is this one and I have two front facing and so for the front facing I did run out of fabric so I cut out like four separate pieces but I'm gonna stitch them here to make them one pieces so it's the two front facing one back facing uh, two front pieces and uh, one back piece and two collar pieces so I'm going to start by transferring my darts on this uh, three pieces which is two front pieces and one of the back and I'm also going to be using this gold uh, metal buttons I have six of them and I have a matching thread to go with the fabric and I'm also going to be using like lots and lots of pins and here I'm back with all my dots marked I transferred them from the pattern and also on the other side this is the back piece and also I marked them on the front pieces I'm not sure if you guys can see them but I also marked my dots here and also on the other piece here so I went ahead and stitched all my dots and ironed them both of them and also at the back as you can see they are stitched and flat so now what I'm going to do as you guys can see I've already pinned the shoulders here right sides facing so I'm going to stitch here stitch there and also stitch on the sides all the way to the bottom and also the other side and I'm going to stitch this using um, about half an inch seam allowance so here I'm done stitching everything I also did like a zigzag stitch just to finish the edges also on this side and on the shoulders as well so I'm going to work on the collar first so I'm going to stitch around from this edge going all the way around until here and then I will flip it and press it so I went ahead and stitched all my front facings and also pressed them so that this stitch can lay flat so now I'm going to join the front facing to the back facing so there we have the back and then the left facing and then the right facing so I'm going to stitch here here and after stitching these two points I'm going to do a zigzag stitch on the outer layer of the um, facings so all around from this one from the end to the other end only the outer layer not the layer that is going to be attached to the dress only the out layer and also around here on the back facing so I'm going to join it to the dress first um, right sides facing so I'm just making sure all the corners are aligned so I'm taking my collar piece and I'm going to sandwich it in between the lining and the fabric So starting at the corners again, making sure the collar piece is in between the lining and the uh, dress. So pin there. I'll go ahead and put another pin here. So I'm going to join it all the way to the other corner here. So now I have uh, everything pinned up. I have the facing, I have the collar in between and the main dress. I also pinned it from uh, the beginning of the facing all the way around to the other end. And as you guys can see here, I have like one inch uh, hem allowance, which I'm going to leave out. So I'm going to stitch starting from here, go around joining all three layers 
all the way to the other end. So I'm done uh, joining everything together. It's time to flip. So the facing is going to be inside. So the facing is going to be inside. We have the collar on the outside and the dress. So this is, I did went ahead and press everything. Like the collar is looking great. And now I am going to work on the hem. So what I'm going to do here, no rain. <laughs> so what I'm going to do here is to um, turn the facing on the inside out. And I'm going to stitch here uh, using about half an inch seam allowance. And then after that, I will show you guys. I'm also going to do the same on the other side. So this is what I was talking about. I went ahead and stitched here. I'm just taking my fabric scissors and I'm going to cut the edge here. And I'm going to turn this over. Like so. You can use your scissors just to sharpen that corner there. So once that is done, you can see it already forms the hemline. So I'm going to iron the hemline flat and then I'm going to hem using a hand needle because I don't want it to show on the other side. So I went ahead and finished hemming the bottom and I uh, used a hand needle. So this is my hem in the back like that so now I went ahead and uh, marked my button holes and where I'm going to place the buttons so first I'm going to go ahead and sew the buttons with um, hand needle again and then for the button holes I'm going to use this button hole um, foot that came with my machine so here are all my buttons already attached and I measured about three inches in between them and on this side I have button holes. I went ahead and stitched all my button holes and now it's time to open them and to open them I use a seam ripper. I have six button holes so what I do is I just po poke like the beginning and I run it. So on to the next one, just poke the beginning and then run my seam ripper straight and then it's open, poke the third one, and it's open. So I'm also doing the same on this ones. Sorry about the noise, if you can hear the noise, rain is here with me in the room. And also we just won the World Cup, the Rugby World Cup, so if you do hear noises outside like vuvuzelas and stuff, we just won. So yeah, which is really, really cool. Everyone is excited. So I'm done with all my buttonholes. They actually fit. So I made them about two centimeters long because I measured the buttons first and they fit perfectly. And to finish the sleeves, I have these two pieces of fabric that I went and cut out and these are about three centimeters wide. I just went ahead and fold them and give it a press. So I'm going to use this as like a bias binding. So this is how I make my homemade bias binding. So I'm going to, starting from, um, the underarm starting from the bottom i'm going to stitch it around facing here so i'm going to stitch it somewhere here in in between about one centimeters away from the edge so i'm going to stitch it around here is how the binding is looking after i stitched it on the uh, dress what i'm going to do is i'm going to flip it over like so so I'm going to top stitch around on the binding 
also making sure that the raw edges are facing the binding and not the dress because we don't want this seam to show once everything is done so i'm going to top stitch around and also on the other um and this is how it's looking after top stitching so i'm going to fold it in all around i'm going to fold it in and stitch on the edge all around and that will be like our final stitch and the dress will be done so this is the final result this is how it's looking on the outside like so. and then this is the inside and so here's the dress all done and pressed and everything is looking great I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to thumbs up subscribe to my channel and check out my previous and future videos and yeah i'll see you guys on the next one bye